Now let's consider our third topic ILO, the NIMBY problem. One of the interesting features of environmental problems is the attitude, not in my backyard, that is often referred to by its acronym NIMBY. This attitude has been dubbed the NIMBY principle. The NIMBY attitude has many examples. One common one is that a community might welcome the benefits of oil exploration and refining, such as abundant oil for transportation, manufacturing, and heating, but fiercely oppose any proposal to build an oil refinery or undertake oil exploration in their neighborhood. In other words, we accept the benefits but refuse to take responsibility for coping with the challenges that come with the benefits. Another variation of the NIMBY attitude is where individuals or organizations receive the benefits that come with the use of natural resources, such as profits, but refuse to take responsibility for addressing the environmental damage and pollution associated with the practice that has earned them, that has earned them these benefits. Examples of this NIMBY attitude include some resource companies and companies that use natural or refined resources such as airlines or logistics companies. Another example of the NIMBY attitude is where there are people concerned about carbon pollution that causes climate change but who refuse to have a wind farm in their neighborhood. This is a puzzling attitude given that wind farms, whatever you think of their aesthetics, do not produce any carbon pollution. Another example of the NIMBY attitude is companies who enjoy the profits of extracting carbon-rich coal or crude oil, but who refuse to accept the need for paying a carbon price. This is a puzzling attitude again, given that carbon pricing, whatever you think of their impacts on business, is effective in encouraging energy markets to transform and in reducing carbon pollution.